In order to remind drivers of the rules of the road and the importance of pedestrian safety, the Santa Barbara Police Department has joined forces with the California Highway Patrol and the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department to conduct multiple crosswalk enforcement stings. This is a, a particular strategy that uh, that we're using today is, is the first that we used in a long time, but we're working with other agencies and what we want to do is make this a higher visible event. We, we want everybody in the South Coast community to be aware of our enforcement efforts, to be aware of the education efforts that's happening here. And uh, by doing that, it allows us to have more motor officers, more staffing to actually have more of an effect in our enforcement today. Obviously, uh, pedestrian violations and people who don't yield to pedestrians aren't inherent to one area. Everybody has this problem. It's not just Santa Barbara City or the Goleta City. It's everywhere. According to the 2011 Office of Traffic Safety Rankings, Santa Barbara ranked second out of 102 California cities of similar size for highest number of pedestrian collisions. City transportation has worked to lower the high number of collisions by installing new pedestrian signage, median refuge islands, and other devices across town to increase pedestrian visibility to oncoming vehicles. But even with improved signage and visibility, some drivers still fail to properly yield to pedestrians. And that is where enforcement comes in. It's to educate the driver that when the pedestrian's out in the crosswalk, they need to pay attention, slow down, and stop. There's the three E's of traffic. There's uh, education, enforcement, and engineering. And so this is a classic example of all three working together. What we'd like to do is, is to educate people about uh, crosswalk violations, their responsibility uh, when they're driving a vehicle, and also their responsibility when they're the pedestrian. As part of the planning stage, the Santa Barbara Police Department, in coordination with the transportation planners, determined which locations would benefit the most from enforcement. These intersections included Calle Palo Colorado at State Street, Ana Pamu at San Andres Street, Delavina and Canon Perdido Street, Santa Barbara at Sola Street, and Cabrillo at Corona del Mar. Each location has a marked crosswalk with no traffic signal. The traffic session at the police department works closely with the traffic engineers, and so we communicate a lot about what's happening in the city as far as collision rates and, and complaints that we get from the citizens. So uh, after discussing it with the traffic engineer's office, we decided that this was probably the, the best locations to, to do this thing. According to the California Vehicle Code, there is a legal crosswalk at every intersection whether it is painted or not, unless a sign specifically prohibits pedestrian crossings. Drivers must yield to pedestrians that are legally in the crosswalk, not waiting on the curb. Pedestrians must not enter the crosswalk unless it is safe to do so, and must give drivers a reasonable amount of time to stop before stepping off the curb. Drivers may not overtake a vehicle stopped for a pedestrian crossing in the street. During this round of enforcement, 144 citations were given at the five Santa Barbara and four Goleta locations. The Calle Palo Colorado at State Street location brought in the most with 49. During the exercise, decoys and officers noticed that many of the violations share similar characteristics. Some of them are speeding, some of them are not paying attention, and some just don't care. This operation set up where we have cones marking uh, the location of the vehicle. So in other words, 200 feet from either side of this intersection that we're at right now, there's a cone. And uh, the decoys who are stepping out are trained to know that they'll step out before a vehicle reaches a cone. The reason for that is that they have a, a good perception reaction time. A lot of the people that we're stopping today, they're in violation, uh, they're driving near our decoys, they're uh, not paying attention to what's happening, and a lot of them are telling us we didn't see the person come out in the street. To safely interact with pedestrians, law enforcement officers have these simple tips for drivers. When the pedestrian is walking across the street, sometimes it's blocked, so you've got to pay attention to the cars next to you, on the right and left of you, depending on which lane you are. And if they slow and stop, obviously there's a reason that's going on. And if you can't see that, then you need to slow down and stop too to see what, what could be happening. There could be a bicyclist coming across, there could be a pedestrian, or somebody might have had an accident. What we'd like to get across to the motorists is that uh, driving is it's a big responsibility. And when we're in our vehicles, sometimes we get distracted by different things that are going on, things that we're thinking about that are going on in our life. But when we enter that car, it's, 
It's a dangerous vehicle. When we're operating our vehicles, we need to be very aware of the traffic. We need to be very aware and attentive to everything that's going on on the roadway. Drivers aren't the only cause of collisions. Pedestrians need to take the extra step and remain alert as they cross busy intersections. Pedestrians have a responsibility as well as uh, vehicles when they're in the roadway, so they always need to be careful. They always need to be looking both ways uh, when they cross the street, and they, they can't enter the, the street until it's safe to do so. So to step out into the street is one thing, but to step out into the street uh, when it's dangerous, they can be at fault if a collision occurs. Being aware is the big one. It's the big safety tip for me is knowing my surroundings, what's going on, making sure I see the vehicles come from my right and from my left, and moving slowly. You're not going to stop? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we got another pull over there.